I know that Poppin uses every Dr. Mario all except for the black one and except for the white one. Here we go. Starting off game one here at PS2. We got Bradyac versus Poppin. Here we go. Code Red 100. Not quite sure what round this is, but we're going to get into it anyways. Here we go. Good string starting off from Bradyac. Trying to continue it. Poppin trying to fade back with some pills. Oh, they're playing center right now. Hitting each other's shield. Bradyac is going to be the one to hit the nair into the jab. Doesn't get the forward air spike off of it, though. Poppin going to get swallowed with the egg. Is able to up the out of the egg. That was phenomenal there. Gets the pill afterwards. Even game here right now. And we're only 30 seconds in at this point. Poppin hits that back air. Sends Bradyac off stage. Trying to catch Bradyac's landing here. Goes to the down air. Bradyac trying to hit it up tilt. Doesn't quite get any of the moves that they're throwing out right now, but... He's going to keep tossing them out and popping. Going to keep trying to avoid them. Here we go. Bradyak trying to get some down tilts. Oh, doesn't quite punish the... Oh. Poppin' upbeat out of shield, but it didn't get punished by Bradyak's up smash. And instead it was Poppin' who was punishing Bradyak's up smash with an up smash of their own. Man. But here we go. Poppin' at 136 th off stage now versus Yoshi. A scary place to be, but Poppin's able to get back on stage. Gets the down throw. 53 on Bradyak already. That is the power of the Dr. Mario right there. Okay, reflects the egg to try and make it back. You might be dead here. Yes, you are. Poppin' not going to be able to make it back on that first stock. Dying at 150. For Dr. Mario, that's not terrible. And with 60% on Bradyak right now, Poppin certainly has gotten a lot of extra credit off their first stock. Gets that backer. 77 on Bradyak. Poppin trying to hit the forward air. Misses the grab. Bradyak hitting that punish off of the whiffed grab. 45 on Poppin right now. This is essentially even, but Poppin's going to get the pill. Not going to get anything out of it, though. Bradyak doing a good job at blocking the pills using that powerful back air. Up out of shield. Going to be facing the wrong way. Going to get punished, but not a huge punish. Gets forward aired once. Poppin on the plat versus Bradyak now. Kind of a scary place to be against Yoshi. Oh, tried to get that forward air. Didn't quite get it. Gets the daft down angled forward tilt out of shield there. Sending Bradyak to the ledge. Throws out some more pills. Bradyak tossing out down throw. Ooh, that forward air into up smash. Going to take Poppin's second stock here. And with Bradyak out 102, this is not a terrible percent for Yoshi. Ooh, tried to get down throw into an air dodge read, but Bradyak didn't do it. Poppin wanted him to. Tries to get some up smashes, throws the pills out. Down throw, up air. I thought, oh, I knew Poppin wanted the up B. I thought they were going to do down throw up B, but they decided to go for a read again. But Bradyak has done such a good job at not falling for these reads that Poppin has been trying to fish for. And the spike, is that it? It is. And at 67% criminally early, Poppin is going to get spiked and die. And game one's going to go to Bradyak with a whole excess stock that they didn't even need. So we're going to see the adaptations Poppin made. Poppin's going to make in this game too. Or if Bradyak's going to take this winner's quarters match in a sweep. We're going to see. Oh, we see Little Mac. Yoshi's got double jump armor. Poppin saw that and decided they needed some super armor of their own. The low tier hero Poppin going to switch over to Little Mac. And we are headed to Battlefield. As a as going Little Mac and counterpicking the battlefield, I understand it. At first glance, you might not think that this is a great stage for Little Mac, but I know exactly what Poppin is looking for. They're looking for upbees on the top plat. But this is kind of a double-edged sword here because Yoshi, such a floaty character who loves to jump, can very easily camp out Little Mac on the top plat here. And we see Bradyak already doing that, just platform camping the Little Mac on Battlefield right here, which, to be fair, is how you play the matchup. But we're going to see Poppin trying to find an opening here, even percentages, and they're lower percent than they were when we got to this point last game, 30 seconds in, but... We're getting a little bit of a slower paced game here. Poppin hits the back air. An aerial on Little Mac. Whoa. 46%. Pretty much even. Bradyak trying to get another command grab. They chilling right now. Get some popcorn chat. Let's relax. We got a game ahead of us. We got seven minutes on the clock. Let's use them. Oh, get comfortable. I'm comfortable. I'm leaning back. I've got my water and a the uh, cup here. I'm ready. Guess the side B. Oh my god goodness. Someone hit someone else. Poppin gets the F smash. 91 on Bradyak. Let's see if they can continue this momentum they got going. 
Ooh, gonna power through that. KO punch on deck. Poppin's gonna look for it. Ooh, nice! Up smash out of shield from Poppin there. And that's gonna kill off the top at like 120%. For Bradiac, that is a disastrous stock loss. Essentially, especially when Poppin has KO punch, except he doesn't anymore. Poppin gonna land back onto the stage. Bradiac trying to chase with some back airs. Hits the back air on his shield. Poppin dancing around right now. Trying to dance like a butterfly. But not gonna find the sting of the bee here. Above the plats right now, Poppin makes it back down onto the stage. And the up smash out of shield is gonna take Poppin's first stock. We are at four minutes, 50 seconds, and the first stock of both players has been taken. They are on fresh second stocks right here. We're getting into it with the up airs. Gets the up tilt into the F tilt. Poppin' gonna continue this momentum that they've got. Trying to get more hits racked on. That's what Little Mac loves to do. They are an advantage pusher. Once you start getting hit by one Little Mac uh, move, Little Mac wants to hit all of their other moves on you. They push their advantage hard. Because it's not every day that Little Mac gets advantage state. So when they do, they make the most out of it. Poppin' gonna be the one dancing between platforms now. Side B's back onto ledge. Able to make it back onto the stage. Gets the dash attack. Bradiac at 96 right now. Dancing around. Poppin' dancing on the top plat. Able to make it down with the dash attack. Try to get the side B. Gonna get interrupted by the egg. Not gonna get hit by the up smash though. Bradiac trying to hit that up air. Poppin' shield looking a little small. KO punch is almost on deck. Bradiac's gotta keep that in mind. KO punch is ready. And there we go. The wake up KO punch. Gonna take Bradiac's second stock. Poppin' only at 79. Now Poppin' can lose this stock now because any Little Mac can lose any stock at any percent. But if Poppin' manages to hold on to the stock and get some extra credit wrapped up, this game is as good as theirs. But Bradiac, try not to let that happen. Gets the jabs. Jab lock into F smash and that is it for that stock. Wrapped it up. 51% on Bradiac right now. Poppin's gonna look to see, trying to prevent Bradiac from making this comeback here. Bradiac gets the grab, and the up yada, the egg from Poppin there. Very good option. Dancing around stage, shields the down air. Very nice. Dancing around, the neutral is being played, ladies and gentlemen, and everyone else. Gets the down tilt on the side B. 88% on the board right now for Bradiac. Good. Uh, I think that might be up angled F smash, but the up B on the top plat, just like I said at the very beginning of this game, is gonna take that stock. Poppin taking game two. We are 1-1 one, one for the second time in a row right here at Code Red 100, ladies and gentlemen, and everyone else. Here we go. So now we got Bradyx counter pick here. I doubt they go back to Battlefield, because even though Poppin only got one kill, that kill off the top plat was still crucial for ending that game and not allowing Bradyx to try to make a comeback or cheese an early stock. So I don't think we go back to a triplat. Instead, going back to PS2 makes a lot of sense from Bradyx. They won on that stage before. No reason not to go back at this point. Switching between the little alts. Poppin sticking with the little Mac. Absolutely makes sense. Here we go. Launching into game three. three two, Headed back to PS2 where Bradyak won game go. one. But now it's changed because Poppin is no longer playing Dr. Mario. He's playing Little Mac right now. Tries to hit the up tilt. Tries to get the dash attack. Bradyak shields it. Back air is on Poppin's shield. Here we go. F tilt coming out from Bradyak. Doesn't quite get any aerials off of it though. Very good for Poppin. A combo there off stage could have been detrimental to Poppin. Only 22%. We see Bradyak playing this a lot more patiently. Even though we're not on a triplat anymore, Bradyak still doing the platform camping, which is how you would play this matchup, to be honest, to be fair. Poppin' running between the plats, gets an up air there. Right here, it'll all be about Poppin' trying to bait Bradyak into coming down and punishing him once he does. Goes to the dash attack on the shield. Poppin' dancing back and forth right now. Gets the F-Tilt, 31. Wants everything else off of this now. Guess the egg lay though. Bradiac hitting a good down air into dash attack. Good counter coming out from Poppin. The defensive option there. Gonna send Bradiac back. Now KO punch is on deck. Poppin being juggled in the air right now though. Not the best spot for Little Mac to be, especially at 102. And with KO punch on deck, Bradiac is gonna be even more careful here. Because with one press of the B button, Bradiac could lose this stock if he's not careful. Oh, tried to get the run up KO punch, but Bradyak able to avoid it. Very good for him. Dancing around these platforms. Gets the up air there. Dancing between 
Gets shielded with the side B popping off stage now. Bradyak trying to hit another aerial to send popping off again. A nair at ledge there might have been too much for Little Mac to make it back. I'm not sure. Bradyak popping in and out of shield right now. <laughs> popping in and out of shield. Popping dancing below the plats. Bradyak playing patiently. Bradyak kind of just waiting for Poppin to make a committal option that he can punish. This game has been so bait and punish for both players. We are four minutes and 50 seconds in, and the very first stock has been taken. Up air going to take Poppin's first stock. Poppin taking a moment to reflect, taking a moment to think about what he should do to bring this game back. And with 60% on Bradyak and the camping not seeming to slow down anytime soon, Poppin's got plenty of time to think about what he should do to make this comeback. And ladies and gentlemen and everyone else, you know what they say. Up a stock, you know the vibes. Bradyak's going to be jumping from plat to plat right now, trying not to lose this stock early. The more chip damage Bradyak can get on Poppin' with this stock, the better this will be. Here we go. Poppin' trying to land some more aerials right now. Having a standoff of sorts. Good nair out of shield from Bradyak. Good F tilt, 100% on Poppin'. Didn't get that. Oh, that's gonna be that's gonna be rough. That whiffed up be gonna be so detrimental. Poppin taking like 40, 50 percent off of that. Not good for Poppin right now, especially when all he wants to do is end this stock, but he can't find the crucial opening that he needs. But all hope is not lost. KO punch is on deck, almost here. If Poppin gets this kill now and gets KO Punch ready for Bradyak's second stock. This game could be in Poppin's favor in an instant. Uh-oh, Poppin's off stage. Oh, there we go, gets the up B. Not gonna get edge guarded. Tried to run up up B, the KO Punch is gone. Bradyak's up air gonna steal it away. Poppin kinda getting a little flustered here. Really needs to get this stock and he will. Good F smash coming out from Poppin right there. Dancing around 101% right now. A lot of things from Yoshi can kill here. Jab lock F smash would be detrimental, be disastrous. Poppin really just trying to get an opening. Because get up tilt's good at good F tilt. Try to hit the forward air. Good up air. Dancing around right now, just trying to get a starter. Down throw. Didn't quite hit F tilt out of it though. Uh, was able to find an opening, but couldn't quite convert off of it. Gets hit by the Nair. This is not looking good for Poppin. It's looking amazing for Bradyak, though. Poppin gets the up air. Second up air. Ah, oh, doesn't hit the third. The Nair out of shield. So good for Bradyak. Bradyak's out of shield game has been crucial for this game three. And we're at two minutes and 20 seconds left. We got seven minutes, everyone. So strap in, dear viewers. Oh, man. Tries to get that forward air. Good up smash, but not going to quite hit. Oh, tries to punish that up B. But again, not going to quite get it. A lot of up smashes out of shield coming out from Bradyak. If Bradyak gets a little bit greedy with these up smashes, Poppin might find an opening to convert into a kill. If you're Bradyak here, you just need to commit to your game plan. If you're going to camp Little Mac, you got to camp Little Mac. There we go. Poppin' gonna lose that second stock just like he lost his first with a drop through plat up air coming out from Bradyak. Poppin' looking a little bit frustrated in that webcam, but we are back. 64% misses the up B. Doesn't get punished for it though. Tries to just keep hitting F smashes. Bradyak looking amazing in this last stock right now. They kind of figured out what he, he figured out what he needed to do for the matchup, and he's been sticking to that game plan ever since, and it has been working wonders. <gasps> oh, the double jump armor out of the up B! That could have been disastrous for Bradyak if that had killed. Okay, he gets the forward air. Up air. Popping, dancing around right now. Here we go, gets up air one. Trying to play right now. Trying to hit another F smash. Ooh, good Nair to shield. Good up air. Tries to get a second. Guess the grab. Forward throw. Oh my gosh. Bradyak makes it back on a stage. 108. A lot of stuff from Little Mac could kill, but without that crucial opening, Poppin's not going to get that kill. 
At 70% right now, it's not looking good for Poppin. But anything is possible, especially with KO Punch on deck as we speak. Here we go. KO Punch is out. <gasps> Gets hit by the second forward air. Is that going to be it? Not yet. Goes for F Smash again. Bradyak dancing around. And there we go. Amazing Smash Attack coming out from Poppin. KO Punch is on deck. F oh, no. The timeout. Oh, no, it's over. It's Jover. And that is it with a timeout to finish it out.